Hello, welcome back to my channel. So you've obviously seen the description. I've got a problem with both calipers that I rebuilt on front of this earlier in the week. Um, I had a look the other day and there's a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of brake fluid on the floor beneath each one for about the size of a 2p, 50p, something like that. So not a great deal, uh, but nonetheless, it's dripping down. Felt underneath the calipers, it's coming from somewhere. It's just pooling at the bottom. It's either coming out of one of the pistons or one of the caliper seals. But I think I'm going to have to probably strip them down to take a look, try and find out what the problem is. Uh, so it's not great, but uh, what's a YouTube channel without a fail video? So I'll, uh, I'll strip them down, see what's going on. So there's one, two drips there. That's where the first one was, I moved it back a little bit. I was messing about the other day. That's where the other drips appeared. Off this side. Give me a bit dark this, but if I just feel underneath there, like that. Definitely something coming out. It's not a great deal. But I'll have to have a look at it anyway. And that's the same on the other side. Still tricky to see exactly where it's coming from. There's a little bit pooling around there. I don't know if that's coming from higher above. There's definitely a little bit there. Yeah, and the pad. Side. It's on the other side as well. That's a bad do. So we have both sides leak either both sides are leaking or is it coming from higher up? Bleed nipple perhaps and dripping down. Uh, so I've decided to do take the caliper off the disc. I'm just going to um, pump the brakes a few times and see if I can see any oil appearing. I've put put a spanner in between the pads just to try and maintain some separation because if I do need to get this off I'm going to have to put it back on again to uh, crack them bolts that are holding the caliper together. Right so let's give this a try now. I'll pump the brake a few times get some pressure in. Right, so it's definitely pumping a little bit of oil out. Just see underneath the little bubble or a little drip, but I'm not sure exactly where it's coming from. At first, I thought it was coming from the joint there, but you can just see a trickle from. A bit on the left there, so it's probably just going from a piston. So I'll, uh, I'll keep trying to have a look in there and see which uh, which one it's coming from. I think I found the issue. It seems to be that very bottom piston there. 
just about underneath the a little bit of the rubber seal that squirrels out there. You can see better there, I think. I can just see, definitely see at the bottom. Um, there's no fluid anywhere else, anyway, so I am pretty sure that's it. So that's that's a bad day. So yeah, another another strip down. Um, pull it out. Try to sort it out. Just had an idea as well. So I'm not wasting on brake fluid out of the lines and out of the reservoir. I'm going to take that banjo off, I'm going to bung it with that. That's the uh, hardened silicon that's come out of the end. The silicon tube. Let's see if it works anyway. I don't know what the official method is, whether they do it or not. Maybe they just let it all drain out. We'll see if that works. That seems to do the trick. Not a bad idea for me. That's it, yeah, definitely. I'm sort of squeezing out or kinking on that one there. But that's the dust seal. I don't know if it should have prevented... Oh, sorry, if the previous seal should have prevented any oil coming past it or not, I don't know. Um, but yeah, not sure how that's happened. Mm. But yeah, all the others definitely seem dry around them. Or drier. There's a little bit of but... Anyway, and then this one here. I thought there might have been some coming out of there as well, but Tell. Anyway, that's the culprit, or one of them. And it just so happens to be, is that? That's the smallest one as well, typical that, because I haven't got any of them now. The ones I've got, I've got some spares at them boxes when I bought the uh, two cylinders, but they were the bigger cylinders. So I'll have a look at this. I might have to get some new seals now. Oh well. Well, I've refitted that now. Um, after rebuilding it again, so it was the rings on the bottom two pistons there, which are both the twenty-four millimeter sized pistons uh, they were both leaking the other the other four were fine but yeah it's been refitted now i've left it overnight and nothing nice and dry so that's good um pleased with that and on the other side the leak from there is gone um i took it off the off the disc opened it up had a look, couldn't find a leak anywhere at all, dried it all off with a rag, um, just kept looking, kept pressing the brake and nothing was coming out. So all I can assume, it was only a tiny bit, all I can assume is that was a little bit of residual brake fluid left over from bleeding the brakes perhaps. But yeah, that's fine. Both done and dusted, so happy with that. All that's left to do on this now for me uh, is just top that up again. Just dropped a little bit, uh, and that's it done. Brake issue resolved. I was glad I spotted that before, before I went out on it properly. Um, but it's going to be in here for a few days at least now. So certainly I'll notice if any more fluid appears on the bottom of there through leaks or anything. But yeah, jobs a good one. 
All right, well, that's it for this video. One thing I have noticed, though, is that this front disc might be slightly warped, or one of them. I can just hear it catching when I spin it a tiny little bit. I don't think it's a major issue. I can't feel any pulsing on the brakes, uh, but it might be something for a future video anyway to replace the discs. I'd have to get the front wheel off. Um, I don't think I can do that with this stand because that fouls the um, the axle there. I don't know if I can turn it round and jack it again. I'll try it anyway, but I might have to get another stand for that anyway. But one good thing is if I do get the wheel off, I can probably refurb that as well, give it a good sanding down and repainting because it really is in bad condition. But yeah, okay, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully it's been useful to anyone else who's had problems with their calipers after rebuilding them. And yeah, see you on the next video.